say everyone welcome to another episode of quick math tutorials today we are going to learn about the segment addition postulate and midpoint of a segment let's first define what is a segment addition postulate it is defined as if point b is between point a and point c then the measure of the line segment AB plus the measure of the line segment BC is equal to the measure of the line segment AC. It, it means that if B, so we have here the point B, is between the point A and point C, we can have the measure of this line segment AB then plus the measure of this line segment BC is equal to the measure of the line segment AC. For example, we have this illustration. We will find the length of the line segment AC. So we have here point B is between point A and point C. Then we are given the, the measure of the line segment AB is equal to 3 cm and the measure of the line segment BC is equal to 5 cm. So we will find the measure of the line segment AC. For our solution, we will use the formula in the segment addition postulate. So we have the measure of the line segment AB plus the measure of the line segment BC is equal to the measure of the line segment AC. Now, we will substitute the values. So here, in our line segment AB, the measure is 3. So we will have 3 centimeters plus the measure of the line segment BC is equal to 5 centimeters. So we will have 5 centimeters here. Then we will add these two measurements. So we have 3 centimeters plus 5 centimeters is equal to 8 centimeters. And this is for the measure of the line segment AC. Therefore, the length of the line segment AC is 8 cm. Or, as you can see in this illustration, to find the measure of the line segment A up to C, we will just add these two measures. So we have 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 cm. For our second example, we have now Point Y is between point X and point Z. Then we are given the length of the line segment X, Y, which is equal to 8 centimeters. And the measure of the line segment Y, Z is equal to 2 centimeters. Now, we will find the length of the line segment X up to Z. For our solution, we will use the formula for the segment addition postulate. So we have the measure of the line segment XY, so we have here, plus the measure of the line segment YZ is equal to the measure of the line segment X up to Z. Now, we will substitute the given measurement. For the line segment x, y, its measure is 8 cm. So we will substitute here 8 cm plus the measure of the line segment y, z is 2 cm. So we will have 2 cm here. Now we will add this to 8 plus 2, which is equal to 10. So, we have 
Triple length of the line segment XZ is 10 centimeters. Or here in our illustration, to find the measure of the length X up to Z, we will just add these two measurements. So we have 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 centimeters. For our last example, we have point M is between the point L and point N. Now, we will find the length of the line segment LM. And we are given the length of the line segment LN, which is equal to 15 centimeters. And the measure of the line segment MN, which is equal to 4 centimeters. This time, we will get the length of this line segment. Now, using the formula in the segment addition postulate, so we have the measure of the line segment LM plus the measure of the line segment MN which is equal to the measure of the line segment LN. Now, we will substitute for the measure of the line segment LM since this is what we are going to find. So, we will just copy plus the measure of the line segment MN which is equal to 4. So, we will write 4 centimeters here equals the measure of the line segment LN and we have here the given and it is equal to 15 centimeters so we will write 15 centimeters. Now for us to eliminate this 4 centimeters we will add both sides by negative 4. So 4 minus 4 which is equal to 0 so we have now the measure of the line segment LM and we have here 15 minus 4 and 15 minus 4 which is equal to 11 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the line segment LM is equal to 11 centimeters or in this illustration, since our answer for LM M, which is equal to 11, so 11 plus 4, which is equal to 15. Thus, our answer is correct. Next, we have the midpoint of a segment. When we say midpoint, it is the point that divides the segment into two congruent segments. For example, if our point B here is the midpoint, between point A and point C. Therefore, these two line segments AB and BC, they are congruent or they have an equal me measurement or equal length. So, we have here, if B is the midpoint between A and C, then AB is just equal to BC. For example, if B is the midpoint between A and C, so we have here B is the midpoint between A and C, what is the length of the line segment AB? So we are given the measure of the line segment BC, which is equal to 5 centimeters. For our solution, since point B is the midpoint between point A and point C, so we can have the measure of the line segment AB is just equal to the measure of the line segment BC. And by substitution, since BC is equal to 5, so we have here the measure of the line segment AB is equal to so instead of writing BC, it is equal to 5 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the line segment AB is 5 centimeters. So they have just the same or equal length 
since this is 5 centimeters, the, therefore, the line segment AB is also 5 centimeters. For our second example, if Y is the midpoint of the line segment XZ, what are the lengths of the line segment XY and the line segment YZ? So here in our illustration, we are only given the measure of the line segment XZ, which is equal to 16 centimeters. We will find the length of the line segment XY and YZ. For our solution, in our illustration, since the measure of the line segment XZ is 16 centimeters, and since y is the midpoint between x and z, therefore, these two line segments xy and yz, they have just the same measurement or equal length. Thus, we will just divide this 16 by 2. So 16 divided by 2, we have 8 centimeters and 8 centimeters. Or by checking, we have 8 plus 8, which is equal to 16 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the line segment XY is equal to 8 centimeters, and the length of the line segment YZ is also 8 centimeters. To sum it up, we have learned about segment addition postulate and the midpoint of a segment. For the segment addition postulate, it is defined as if point B is between point A and point C, then the measure of the line segment AB plus the measure of the line segment MC is equal to the measure of the line segment AC. So here in our segment addition postulate, it does not mean that point B is a, is a midpoint between A and C. It is just between A and C. For the midpoint of a segment, when we say midpoint, it is the point that divides the segment into two congruent segments. So here, our point B here is the midpoint between A and C. So, point B is in the middle of this line segment. So, if it is a midpoint, then AB is just equal to BC. And that ends our quick math tutorials. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified in my next video, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.